Jonah Coley of the University of Wisconsin-Madison discusses his responsibilities and how he thinks about his work as a university architect. My role as university architect is that I'm responsible for um, guiding the development of the campus so that uh, it develops in an architectural coherent manner. So there is, um, and, uh, and interpreting the intent of the campus master plan. And so that's, that's my role there. And in that, I address the big things, uh, big ideas in the uh, direction of campus, but also the small things. A big thing is, uh, you know, when you have a, a, a project that impacts a district. In other words, you have, it has the, um, uh, uh, there's an opportunity to uh, bring about a major um, transformation of an area of campus or a neighborhood. In such projects, uh, I will play uh, a significant role in guiding uh, the ideas for developing such projects. Well, a small thing uh, will be as small as, um, you know, patching uh, a portion of a historic building or changing material, replacing something that is there, or a roof job uh, from the perspective that uh, little interventions, if not attended to over time, become uh, will have a, a big effect. And so I find that maintenance people maintain building and without guidance, each person will do what they feel like doing. And then you have a mosaic of ugliness uh, uh, to a, a, a place. Architecture and design is both about the big and the small. You start you know, from the big idea, but you have to get all the way to the detail. And so a lot of uh, unsuccessful designs or interventions uh, fall apart at the detail level. And so part of it is that uh, we pay attention to the big moves, but then also continue to insist that uh, the, there's a layering, uh, bringing it down and in a manner that uh, is relatable to the people who interact you know, with the buildings or with the spaces of the places. And so that's, uh, uh, so the details are important as well. Well, I think design guidelines are important uh, because uh, there's got to be a, a framework for the kinds of conversations that ought to take place uh, between the designers and all the stakeholders in the design process. Uh, the end users uh, the, um, and, and others in the campus community, but especially also within our own setting. Uh, you have you know, peop, um, academics who want to uh, influence design, and so part of it is that we want to be able to speak a common language, and yet um, not everybody is an architect and uh, we expect them to understand uh, how to weigh in and be able to make a contribu contribution in the process of design. Beauty is an old-fashioned word that a, a lot of architects and, uh, uh, do not uh, want to use uh, for the simple reason that uh, you know, people think in terms of uh, uh, you know, speaking theoretically, you know, that, uh, you know, there's a, a philosophical divide in the design community about whether, you know, uh, you should use the word beauty or not. But we design buildings for people, for lay people. And lay people understand beauty. You know, the idea that something, um, feels good to them, looks good. And, and so uh, it, it's, it's a term that I'm comfortable using from, again, the perspective that 
the lay people understand, they describe build, a building as being beautiful, a place as being beautiful, and the understanding of that is that when you perceive that, you could use the same kinds of terms as uh, in talking about a beautiful person and a beautiful uh, a house and a beautiful setting. And so personally, I don't see any reason why designers need to shy away um, from, a vo from vocabulary that the people for whom they are designing understand so that they can speak a common language. Dan, tell me what, what it's like to be a university architect. It's a great thing. It's a great feeling. I love being a university architect. I think I, I, the, the idea that um, I help to make place, to inf influence uh, building community through um, the places that we create. And simply because I have the idea that um, it's not about designing spaces, landscapes and buildings, it's about creating places that pull people together so that, because um, a space is a space. It's only when you add people that it becomes a place. So I think about all of those things so that when people leave the campus, they have memories and they want to come back. So as a university architect, anytime I have opportunity to remind people that it's not just about buildings and spaces, for buildings without people are not places. This conversation was recorded June 28, 2016 in Seattle, Washington. Mm -hmm.